I'm Leslie Griffiths. I'm the Minister for Environment, Energy and Rural Affairs in the Welsh Government. I've been in that post since May 2016 and since that time I've set up the legislative framework around this area. I've set the interim targets for 2020, 2030 and 2040 and also our first two carbon budgets. Prosperity for All, uh, Low Carbon Wales, sets out a hundred policies and proposals right across the Welsh Government, not just my portfolio, to ensure that we reduce our carbon emissions. It sets out our plans for industry, for land use. Every minister has responsibility for reducing our carbon emissions, not just myself. So the policies and proposals set out have been uh, brought forward in conjunction with all my ministerial colleagues. And we published that in March. We then took advice from the UK Climate Change Commission around the policy and proposals to make sure they would reduce our emissions in the way that we want to. We're now reviewing them all to ensure that happens in light of the climate emergency that we declared in April. It's really important Wales has the plan because it sets out long-term clarity and certainty about what we are going to do to reduce our carbon emissions. We know climate change is happening. We know it's already affecting every citizen in Wales. You only have to look at the weather patterns to see that. So it's really important we have those documents. It's also really important that people recognise government can't do it on its own. So people can look at those policies and proposals and see what actions that they can take also as an individual. Welsh Government declared a climate emergency in the hope that we would trigger a wave of action and evidence is showing that we've done that. We've already got local authorities doing the same, we have town and community councils doing the same. I was asked to go along and speak to businesses about it because they recognise they've a massive part to play in this. So I think that wave of action that we wanted has brought forward the response also from businesses, from a public sector organisation and from individuals. We have some significant challenges here in Wales. Obviously climate change and the climate emergency is very, very pressing and I've set out a lot of our actions that we will be taking. We've obviously got Brexit on the horizon. That is a huge challenge for Wales and is taking up a huge amount of time and resource that we could be putting, I believe, to much better use. It's really important that we have social justice at the heart of these challenges too, and it's really important we have a fair and just transition as we go forward. People have said I should declare an environmental uh, emergency too, and I certainly accept that we have an environmental and biodiversity crisis, and I'm obviously very focused on addressing those issues too. So I think it's really important that while we accept we have large challenges, the climate emergency is right there at the top of those challenges and we need to address it. So all the reasons I've set out why we uh, declared a climate emergency, why we've got the low carbon uh, delivery plan, why we need to take individuals uh, with us, I hope will be realised. It's really important that people recognise how urgent the climate emergency is and there has to be societal and lifestyle changes. It's not just about government doing things differently, it's about individuals doing things differently also. The thing that really excites me about this, I think, is the fact that it involves communities. One of the reasons I went into politics is because I'm very proud of my community, I'm very proud of Wrexham and to represent it. So it's really important, I think, that we take this to a community level. If we are going to tackle climate change, as I've already said, government can't do it on its own, it's up to individuals as well. So for an example, in relation to renewable energy, one of our targets is there will be community ownership as part of any new renewable energy target coming forward. So I've been really fortunate, for instance, I opened a hydropower uh, community scheme up in North East Wales, not far from where I live. And one lady said to me, it really pleases me that every time I switch on the kettle, I know the community is getting benefits for that. So I think the community aspect of it is what excites me the most. I've spoken about how I think Wales can be absolutely at the fore of renewable energy, particularly around marine and tidal. I've seen developers bring forward innovative plans around floating offshore wind farms. You know, they absolutely blow your mind and it's incredible that we have that innovation here in Wales. We want to keep it here in Wales and then send it out to the rest of the world. So it's really important we do that research and development, have that innovation here. So I'll be 90 in 2050 and what I want to do is carry on living in beautiful country like Wales. It's amazing if you look at our landscapes for instance. So one of the things I'm looking at at the moment is sustainable management of our land. Our farmers provide those beautiful landscapes. I want that to continue. I want Wales to be a place where people want to work, want to live, want to visit and want to enjoy everything that we have to offer.